All right, welcome yet again to a continuation of the part, the humility, the concept of humility and how we are faced, uh, how it affects our way of life, how it can impact in us building great relationship, both in life and in business and being successful. Now, listen to these magical words. I am sorry. It was my fault. These words have built indestructible bridges, forged great friendships, and wrought miracles. Facts. Humble people are often considered passive, submissive, and insecure. On the contrary, humble people are confident and competent in themselves, so much so that they don't feel the impetus to boast about themselves, but instead let their actions speak for their ideals. Now let's take a look at um, qualities of humble people and see how we can try to put that into practice because it's a work in progress. Not even me, I cannot claim to be humble. Every day I learn to be humbler. I learn to be better. I learn to be a better person. It is a work in progress. No one except the, the greatest man that ever lived on this earth, which is, um, is, yes, or was, if you like, Jesus Christ. That is the only, that is only person that could be considered to be humble. We all learn humility. It is a work in progress. Again, let's take a look at some of the qualities we should be looking out for or we should try to learn in trying to be humble. Now, humble people show loads of emotional intelligence. They understand the concept of empathy and sympathy. They know how to gain and retain great friendships and relationships. When faced with tough decisions, humble people base their decision, their decision-making process out of sheer purpose rather than self-interest. Humble people are extremely grateful. They know when to say thank you. They know when to appreciate people they know when to say, hey, man, I appreciate you. Girl, I appreciate you. So that is a sign of humility. If you say something, someone does something to you and you feel like, why would I say thank you? I mean, to me, that is pride. No matter how little something, uh, someone does something to you, um, when you say thank you, you're actually accentuating your virtue. You're actually making yourself great. You are, by being humble, you are actually elevating yourself. That is the honest fact. Now, humble people assume responsibility for their actions. They know when to say, I am sorry. Now, the truth is, the act of humility is a conscious effort. A conscious effort to be humble. When we become aware of actions and pay attention to people's responses and feedback of our actions, we are inadvertently practicing the virtue of humility. What have you learned? Share your comments. In the comment below, subscribe. We try as much as possible to bring you fresh content. And that's why this is called RSJ, Research Jude Life Matics. Just like mathematics. This is life matics. We discuss everything about life, how we can be better people, how we can be better personalities, how we can do well to maintain great relationship build great relationship in life and in business and make progress and success in life. So next week, we're going to be looking at the importance of forgiveness 
and genuine reconciliation in building great relationship. Now, to this week, pinch your brain. Now we are here. Are you ready to win some freebies and gifts, cards and all of that? I have a question here for you to pinch your brain. And the question goes thus. I am in the world. The world is in me. Who am I? So subscribe and post your answers in the comment below. And I will be giving out freebies, as I told you, at the end of the month. Once again, life is so short. Make the very best out of it. Ciao.